between two firms with Mr. Brock. I'm Mr. Brock. My my first guest is Anna uh, Davids, and uh, Anna Davids is here to talk to us about to talk to us about AP European history. Uh, so Anna, did you enjoy AP European history? I did. Did you take the test? Yes. Did you fail the test? Yes. <laughs> because it was, it was taught by Mr. Kaiser, and he's not quite as confident in himself as I am. Um, Hi. If uh, if you were gonna compare AP European history to um, a unicorn, what would it look like? A leprechaun. That's not a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, something similar, sort of. Magical. Hopefully, future students of mine uh, will be a little less ignorant. Um, so, stop talking back to me. I am in charge of this interview. So, uh, you're taking my Western Civ class, and if you were going to compare Western Civ to AP European history, um, what would you say is, is similar? About history. They're both about history. Hello and welcome back to Hi. Between Two Ferns with Mr. Brock. Uh, I once again and Mr. Brock. And my first guest today is Dalton Fuller. Isn't that your second? Uh, well, it's Wilson, actually. Wilson. So, so, Dalton, you also took AP European History. What? <laughs> I will not take my pants off for you. <laughs> Now, what was your question? It's not a requirement for the class, by the way. Messi Rosso, Messi Rosso. If I, if I, sorry, not why. I tried to do an interview. <laughs> if I were to say that uh, AP European history is a lot like Western Civilization class, except uh, it's not as not fun, and there's a lot more work to do, would that be a fair comparison to make? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> European history was quite easy. We didn't really do much. Oh. Lies. Oh. Miss Davids, your interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> no European history has its fair share of work, but it's definitely a lot. I don't appreciate your attitude. This interview is over. This interview is over. So you're. <laughs>